I looked up, you know, I saw this thing, thought it was a plane, it flapped its wings, and I just... Oh my God, it's a bird. Welcome back to Animal X. Coming face to face with a giant raptor is an awesome experience. But imagine encountering a bird the size of an aeroplane. Enter Pennsylvania's Black Forest, home, some say, to gigantic birds of legend. Once known as the Forbidden Land, Pennsylvania's Black Forest has been haunted for centuries by accounts of giant birds that soar above. Native American mythology tells of these monstrous blackbirds that strike terror into the hearts of those that encounter them. It was believed that these avian giants caused thunder and lightning, and so they were called the Thunderbirds. I looked up, you know, I saw this thing, thought it was a plane, it flapped its wings, and I just, oh my God, it's a bird. I'd say the wingspan was probably close to 15 feet, maybe more. Animal X travels to Pennsylvania to investigate the reports of Thunderbirds that continue to haunt the dense forests and isolated mountains of this region. In 1995, Mandy Merrifield, while camping with a friend in the Black Forest, was terrified by a creature she had never seen before. My friend had looked up and made a remark that someone had a remote control airplane. And I looked up and I said, no, it, that's too big. And as I'm saying this, I'm thinking, there's another bird with it. You know, uh, birds do not fly near airplanes. And just as I was you know, thinking that, it flapped its wings, just once. It was a large bird. <laughs> it was an incredibly large bird. Gerald Masinski of Temple University in Philadelphia is a professor of intellectual heritage. His folklore studies took him to the Black Forest region to study the local Thunderbird legend. I began the folklore research in 88, thinking that the stories were merely folklore, so I really did not believe that I would ever catch sight of a genuine bird, especially of these types of dimensions. Professor Masinski's research took him into the heart of the legendary Thunderbird territory. And one morning, while driving along a deserted road, Masinski came across a sight that was to change his views forever. All of a sudden, I looked up, and there it was, right above the trees that you see behind me. I could not get over the immensity. It was not an eagle, um, certainly no kind of vulture. And as it flew away, it had that airplane appearance to it. Another witness who finds it hard to comprehend that he came face to face with the enormous flying creature is Professor Charles Chemnitz. All I know is that it was a very large raptor type bird, something I had never seen before, seen in a book before. Um, to tell you the truth, I'm almost embarrassed that I saw one. My training is as a scientist, so I'm a trained observer. I didn't want really to admit to myself that I had seen, seen this bird. Though the Thunderbird legend was growing in strength, there was still no substantial evidence to support the eyewitnesses' wild claims. That was all about to change when one morning, Cherokee chief John Huffer went out onto the lake with his film camera. He filmed something that was to make cryptozoological history. A bird with a wingspan three times the size of a grown man. About 30 foot up in a tree were these two giant birds, bigger than anything that I'd ever seen. And they flew, and that way we could see the wingspan. And the biggest one had at least 18 foot of wingspan. And it had a huge, long black neck. I was so close. I could see that it was all cracked like old leather around there. A board member of the Society of Cryptozoology and Professor of Ornithology, Angelo Caparella, is familiar with this controversial piece of Thunderbird evidence. Every aspect of the plumage and the shape is consistent with the turkey vulture. 
without actually visiting the site and seeing the size of the tree, it's very difficult to get a very clear size estimate. I wouldn't want to dismiss investigating all Thunderbird reports. I don't really see any possibility that they are a new species, new to science, but they could be some known species that are moving outside of their usual range, and that's always of great interest to ornithologists. Myth or reality, one fact remains. An avian creature of immense proportions has been sighted again and again in the remote areas of Pennsylvania's Black Forest. Perhaps in time, we will discover the truth. The mysterious tales of the animal world continue to fascinate and perplex us. After all, it said there are stranger things in heaven and earth than we can think of. You've just seen some of them on Animal X.